Hi, Scotch lovers. Hi, uh, viewers. Oh, by the way, apparently I have viewers now. So, hey, you have viewers. Uh, so hi, viewers. Uh, oh. Thank you for clicking on this fun with Pete and Sherry video. I am your host, Julian, and today I have a very special guest. Hey. This is Jim Zarling. Hi. Founder and, and, and what would you call yourself? Uh, uh, Co-conspirator. Co-conspirator. The Charles Grand conspirator. Grand conspirator of the Charlottesville Comedy Roundtable. Yes. Stand-up comedy at its finest. Uh huh. And uh, and spokesperson now for a spokesperson for uh, Pete and Sherry, for Pete and, Sherry. And, and the Virginia Lottery and the Virginia. Lottery. I'm not a spokesperson, but I, but I am in their commercials. So. Okay. So I look for those. So so kind of a big deal, would you say? I'm a big deal. All right. I mean, I don't like to say it, but I think everyone knows it. Okay. All right. Cool. All so, right. So let's get. Uh, here's what we're doing today. Uh, this is Balvany Signature, and this is Balvany Doublewood. I did Balvany Doublewood in my last review, and I want to do Balvany Signature today. Balvany Signature is, well, it's another 12-year-old scotch from Balvany that is, um, you know, has its trace amounts of peat and a medium amount of sherry. Right. So, you're kind of scratching your head a little bit and thinking, these are pretty much right up the same, Alec. Uh, what do we need to? And, uh, and if so, is the Signature better? Yeah, uh, definitely. Is it worse? Um, it's a little more expensive. Wow. So, um, so I thought we would have, um, we'd have a little try of the signature. Okay. Uh, we'll see what we think, and then we'll refresh our memory uh, about the double wood. Okay. And then, if necessary, we'll refresh our memories again. As many times as we have to refresh. Exactly. We shall. That's that's my theory. All right. Okay. You ready? Now, I, um, it's a little bit of a tradition. I like to smell the bottle. You can smell whatever okay. you want. Kind of a sweetness to it. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's, it's, it's a little more whiny than the than the Balvany Doublewood. Maybe about in between this and the McAllen. And the McAllen. Um, definitely the the. Um, it, it, it's funny. You think the wine sort of dissipates a little bit after you take the cork off. Now it's more honey. Anyway, we'll put it in a glass and see what happens. Good, sir. I'll let you pour for me. All righty. All right. Nose. Just a fancy way of saying smell. Smell. Sniff it. Hmm. All right. I still pick up some some of the wine influence. There's a little bit more of the uh, of the buttery. Uh, You're right, flavor. it does dissipate some. It does dissipate. It. Mm -hmm. Now what they're claiming here is that they're using three different casks. Oloroso sherry butts, first fill bourbon barrels, and refill bourbon barrels. Now, a refill bourbon barrel is not necessarily anything to boast about. No. Uh, a refill bourbon barrel is what um, the cheapest scotches in the world are probably aged in. Right. Not saying that's bad on Balvany, just saying that's that's it's probably true. But it does have, it does have I mean that, that bourbon that aroma of a bourbon. You think so? Yeah, I do think so. Okay. As someone who yeah drinks a little yeah. more bourbon. No, I can see that. I yeah. can see that. Alright, shall we? We shall. Final test. Alright. Do you want to go first? No, no, you go first. I, I'm just going to agree with whatever you say. No, don't do that. I winked when I said that. You didn't um, see that they saw it. Okay. <laughs> um, well, good. That's dramatic irony. Yeah. Okay. Um, very much honey and um, butterscotch that I got in, in the Balvenie Doublewood is here as well. Um, the... Uh, is an overall oakierness uh, to it. I'm picking up a little bit more berry, and um, 
I don't think the delivery is quite as long. And frankly, I find it to be a, a little bit of a funny aftertaste. Yeah, for for the scent of bourbon, that that I, I, it doesn't taste like a, like a bourbon when you drink it. it there's def, it's definitely a, a differentiated there. And you're right; it is it is um, it's kind of got a, a heart like a harsh alcohol. And it's a harsh it. alcohol or, or or metallic. And I even I've been sort of thought, um, well, it goes from the sort of fruity into this, and it's almost like uh, I get the taste of onion, which is a, which is. Which is not a taste I expect yeah. to find in a scotch. It's, it's very it's sort of frankly weird. It's very smooth on, upon first taste. But yeah, there is a I can't place I can't place my, my finger on it, but there is a it, it does kind of finish weird. Especially compared to um, well, I guess let's find out. I guess we could find out. The, the double with the, I, I, uh, as I said, you know, has has the best thing in the world that a scotch can have in it. And it's the complete absence of any weird, funny taste that you don't want. Right, right, and, right. And I don't think that the, I don't think that's a property it shares with the signature. I should say that this is still pretty darn, pretty darn good. Yeah, you know, it's not. I wouldn't kick it out of bed for eating crackers. Mm -hmm. It's not bad tasting. But it's not great either. It's just a I, weird transition. Mm -hmm. It's a weird. It's a weird flavor transition uh, as you drink it. You know, if I was going to go one to ten, I don't know, eight, eight and a half. Eight and a half. Eight and a half. Okay. You're coming a little lower than that. Maybe about a maybe seven point seven five. Wow, yeah. you're a very mean person. No, I'm not. I'm not being mean. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm asking myself. You know, is it still better than? But I still rather drink this than uh, Glenn Livet, which I gave a seven. He's right. like, yeah, because it's a lot more interesting. Right. Um, but not incredibly much so. And uh, and uh, no, it doesn't quite come up to the standards of Ardbeg or or Macau. I understand. All right. So let's have a let's have a Balvenie, uh, let's, double. We just, we just have, have, if, have. For no, if for no better reason, we have another nosing we glass. We have two more nosing glasses here. And you have a bottle of Balvenie double I, 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 of course, finished my last bottle with the last review. What to? Uh, would you like to? I would. I'll see if oh, it man. See if it still smells the way I, I, I remember. Mm. Wow, no, not exactly. Really? You know, you know I, I got lemon drops uh, on mine. This time I'm getting. Like the, the orange Christmas uh, jelly. Like candy. I said, this one sells. This one smells sweet, like in a wineish flavor. Mm -hmm. And this one smells more sweet, like a dessert. Almost. Yeah, like a, like, like a, a dessert. candy. All right. Well, well. And note, doing this, um, I feel is kind of not necessarily kind to signature, but that. It should tell you something in itself. If if, if you're, if, if it doesn't hold up to the comparison to what they've already got on the market, and they're selling for I think about ten dollars cheaper, right? Um, then it sort of makes you wonder why signature. Right? Well, we've kind of talked about that. I mean, okay. sometimes you know, putting signature on something like this will <laughs> encourage someone to buy something they want ordinarily wouldn't. Well, I did buy it, didn't I? Yes, you did. <laughs> Mission accomplished, Bill Vinny. Good job. Yeah, but but I guess the bottom line is I can't think of any reason why you would buy this instead of this. There would be no reason. I, there is no reason, There's yeah. Fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's where I want to be. I mean, that's got, uh, uh, compared to the signature, that has that consistent flavor when you put it in your mouth all the way through. There's no, like I said, this has like a harsh jump at the end. Yeah, it's it very smooth and stays smooth. Exactly. Uh, it's a, it's vanilla and orange blended together. I know this isn't exactly what I said about it <laughs> two days ago, but it still has got the flavor of a of, of a dream sickle. It still still very much reminds me of ginger candy. Oh, that's good. It is indeed. It is delicious. All right. Do you want to rate that one too? So, 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 you know, I would I would be hard pressed to not agree with your nine point three. Nine point three. Okay. I mean, it's a very. It is most excellent. Excellent. 
All right. Well, I guess that's all we have for you, unless you want to stick around for the after show. Um, thank you for <laughs> clicking on this Fun with Pete and Sherry video. Until next time. Do we uh, have to uh, get to a point where we can buy cases of all these and then save them and have like a Belvini Doublewood uh, 12 year from a, one, and then buy it again a decade later and then compare the two? Yeah. We, yeah, we have we, to. We, we have, have to. That's, I guess I better get to work then yeah. on, on making it big. <laughs> Wait. It's pretty much no choice at this point. We're committed. Uh, we're beyond. We're beyond the point of no return. Oh, I'm your host, Julian. Uh, 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 special he's guest, co-host, Jim Zarling. You're more of a. You're more of a special co-host. A special than, co-host. Than a, than a guest. Okay. Special co-host. I mean, like, a, like when Joan Rivers co- hosted the Tonight Show. Exactly. As a standard exactly. co-host. Okay. You're you're a co-host. A guest. I would feel like I would be like. You'd be like on the other side of the table. Oh yeah, you'd be cutting back and forth. Yeah, this is very serious. Yeah. I don't have the technology to do a guest radio. Is this the after show? This is the after. Oh, this is the after show. <laughs>